Welcome back, friends. I'm Susan Clifton. I'm here in my Baca studio in Pompano Beach, Florida. And today I'm going to do a combination of a quick studio tour, a little bit of watching me do this painting, and also let's talk about burnout. Stay tuned. <music> So as you could see, if you watched last week's video, this painting hasn't changed much. <laughs> I had a week, let me tell you. I still do web design. So Monday through Thursday, I'm mostly doing web design. And then I'm here at the studio on Friday and Saturday. And, um, and if I can get here at all during the week, I will. This week, that didn't happen at all. And plus Saturday, I also had to leave here early. So I didn't get much done on the painting that day either. So um, today I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek of me uh, working while I'm talking. So we'll talk about burnout while I'm painting. And then stay to the end for my little quick studio tour. Yesterday, I we were gonna have an event last night. So I did like a real heavy duty um, reorganization of the studio. We hung some artwork, as you can see behind me. We really took the time yesterday to take everything down, realign it, make it look better. Um, hung some other artwork, tried to clear the floor of additional easels and artwork laying around. It was just becoming very claustrophobic in here for me, so hard to work in that condition. Okay, so this afternoon I'm going to try to tackle some of this dark pink area here. Um, my sketch isn't so accurate, so I might have to adjust a little bit, but it's this, this, um, these dark areas. And then the next tone over. So I'm going to start by just cutting a piece of my fabric to make it more manageable. All right, so let's talk about burnout. I've had like a very, very crazy week. And, um, and so this is on my mind a lot. <laughs> I had, um, I'm still doing web design during the week. And then on Friday and Saturday, I'm here at the studio. And usually I'm working heavily on the artwork on Friday. And then Saturday, I shoot my video and I also work on the painting. So this week, on Friday, we were gonna have an open house last night, and um, I had to spend the day cleaning my studio and getting it all organized. You'll see the tour later. But anyway, all I kept thinking of this morning was, I gotta get this under control again. Every once in a while, I just, my life like spins out of control, and I'm, and I'm that I'm suffering burnout. So, and I know better that that's the really, odd thing is I know better. So here's some things that, in case you don't know better, <laughs> um, here's some things that I, I need to remind myself of um, and the next week I need to do better. So one of those things, of course, the number one thing is time management. And for my web design business, I really got that down, you know, because I have to. In order to do um, five days worth of work and four, which is what I do pretty much, I really have to have it, my time blocked out. I have to know when my meetings are and I'm really good at that. I'm very, very good. That doesn't mean that I'm not tired at the end of the day. I still get tired at the end of the day. It just means that things are getting done. The thing that I have to concentrate on though is not taking every project that I get asked. I mean, and that's where I, where I really am not good at. I'm not good at saying no, because most of the people that I work with, I've worked with for many, many years, and I don't ever want to say no to them because they might stop calling. And, um, but, you know, when it rains, it pours, you know that, that saying? So some weeks, they all call or you know a lot of them call and they all want me to do some little job and I'm in the middle of a big job 
and I should say no, but I fit them in somehow by getting up at 6 a.m. to work on it or working on it at night. And this is the kind of stuff I need to stop doing. I need to say, look, you know, this is going to have to be next week. I have to schedule you in. I, I have this policy where if you call me that day and you want it that day, that ain't happening. <laughs> but um, I have to get better at saying, no, next week. Not this week, not tomorrow, not the next day. Next week. So I can schedule you in. So that's, that's me. So do you, do you say no? <laughs> do you know how to say no to people? Um, okay, so what I've read on the internet anyway is that here's a couple of things we can do to prevent the burnout besides time management. One of the things they say is, of course, a healthy diet. And usually I am very good at that, but when I'm super busy, it's a lot easier to just say, let's go out to dinner. And, you know, I don't know what's in that food. <laughs> so it's better to eat at home. I definitely believe that. Um, also, they say exercise. So for the last three weeks, I have not had my Pilates lesson. <laughs> She hasn't seen me in three weeks. I've been so busy and I really feel it. Really, really feeling it. Um, let's say, they also say, do something fun. Well, the, the fun thing that I used to always do was tap dance. And then since the pandemic, I, I wasn't able to do that. Well, three weeks ago, wow, I was so happy I got to do a tap class and I've been so I've had three so far and that's in the evening so like like 7 30 so there's plenty of time for me to get there I can work late and still get there um, but scheduling tap dancing and Pilates in the same week when I'm busy that's that's a little tough but they're both good because Pilates keeps my core uh, very strong and my back in good shape and it allows me to you know I sit all day so it's, it's something that's really important for flexibility and all of that now tap dancing also good for flexibility great for cardio and a hell of a lot of fun <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a lot more of that and then they say you should build a support system. And I do have a great support system. My, my husband did the laundry all by himself this week because there was no time for me. I didn't even help him hang or fold or anything. He did it all. And, um, and that's not a fun thing for either one of us. We, we, we hate laundry. And he works out a lot. He's a triathlete, so he's got a lot of workout clothes. We have a lot of sport towels that get, that get dirty. So anyways, uh, he's a great, great guy for like, I'm too busy to cook, so I'm working late. He'll whip up something. And um, so in terms of a support system, I think I've got that down. And then they say schedule time with your family, with your loved ones. You know, we, we need to have some downtime. Um, I see my mother every Sunday and my brother. And I talk to my mother for half hour to an hour every day. And um, she's always like, you're busy, you, you, sh you shouldn't call me. And the thing is, she listens to me vent. <laughs> so it's like a little mental health uh, hour. And, you know, I'm very fortunate to still have her. She's 93. And I still have her, so I'm going to call her every day. So these are all things that um, hopefully, especially there's a couple of things I think I really personally need to um, concentrate on of, of this list of things that I found on the internet. I am sleeping pretty good, so I think I need to do better with the healthy diet because at the end of a really busy day, I'm too tired to deal with food. <laughs> and I really 
I need to say, okay, I'm tired, but I'm going to do it anyway. So of these things that I just talked about, it's about six, seven, eight things, I'm not sure. Um, the time, oh, I did skip one. Wait a second. So one more thing. They say to self-reflect. So I guess that's what I'm doing today. I'm reflecting on why I had such a crazy week, why I was feeling last night like I was on total burnout. I came back from the art event and just collapsed. And uh, today I don't feel like doing very much. And so I'm not, I'm multitasking, I'm painting while I'm talking and I'm creating this video. Um, why did that happen? So this is my self-reflection. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just did too much this week. How do I do better next week? Schedule my time better. Maybe make a priority list and say, I'm only going to do what is necessary this week. And I'm going to learn to procrastinate. <laughs> I'm going to procrastinate about those other things that aren't on the priority list and they're going to be pushed to the next week. So that's what I'm planning to do this week. I'm going to definitely get a Pilates session in, tap dance on Tuesday night. In order to keep the healthy diet going, I am going to do some meal planning and cook some things ahead on Sunday so that I have things in the refrigerator that when we are too busy, we can just grab and go. So that's my plan for the next week. Are you suffering from burnout? Is this something that sounds familiar to you? You know, what is, what is your plan for the next week? Maybe you're not suffering from burnout now, but you've, you know what I'm talking about, right? You've been there. So anyway, I will do better next week. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed watching me, you know, spend hours just applying fabric to a canvas. If you do, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear all your comments about burnout and my process. So now stay tuned. I'm going to show you my little studio tour. So here is the studio. When you first walk in, to the left is this wall of paintings. And then I have over here in the corner, right by the front door, my little workstation. This is where I can do <clears throat> some video stuff if I want to, or our digital. I don't have my laptop here today, but normally that's what this little easel is for. This little easel. I sit my laptop there, plug it into the monitor, and it works just great. On the other side of the door, I have this wall of Little Works. And I have this unit here that's one of those things you buy at Lowe's that holds all your supplies, like here. So it was 24 inches deep, and we took some of this chicken wire, I think it is, and we ran it all the way down and attached it, and there's little grommet holes on the side and I can easily add little picture hooks and add artwork. So I'm saving the top area for an, either another medium-sized painting or some more small works. And the same thing with this area over here. So here's a better view of this wall. It's the biggest wall that I have and I thought it was a great way to showcase my hands. And I have this great window, perfect light for working. And here's my real workstation. This is my cabinet that I love. It belongs in a dining room, <laughs> but um, the top flips open and becomes a bigger workspace. But, you know, I could just close it up. And if I really want the room to look neat, if I have visitors, um, usually on open house nights, I will put some wine on the top. 
um, some glasses and make it a little server as it would be in a dining room and I have this great cabinet I just got it Office Depot that I can wheel out on put it next to my easel as I'm working and as well as this little bobby cart that I got many years ago probably 35 years ago I think I bought it when I was living in New York City and I still love it today it's got three little drawers that pull out it's got the casters on the bottom perfect and this is my favorite chair to sit in while I'm working and here are where I keep most of my supplies and somebody was teasing me yesterday about how neat it was <laughs> but um, hey I could find everything I know where my paint jars are and my pour stuff and my shipping supplies and um, pour paints and camera stuff and my postcards and sponge brushes I mean you name it I know where it is my pastels are on the top along with some stencils and um, my exhibit stuff so if I'm exhibiting outside of the studio I know where I can find the stuff that I want to bring okay. anyway here here we are in the corner and um, this was a great spot for that painting and then I keep some um, tripods in the corner my coffee pot this is my little coffee pot station and who doesn't like an Alex drawer because artists always have flat pads you know watercolor paper and tracing paper and all kinds of stuff my frisket I keep in here my saran wrap my wax paper uh, you name it it all goes in here and it's kind of a mess I think but um, as you can see I also keep my extra cutting mats in here and some file folders that have collage stuff in them here's some other other stuff and um, I'm still trying to find a play a way to here's here's what I put my prints in I'm still trying to find a way to organize my Cricut stuff so I'm into organization I do like to organize so on this wall is all of my my I guess slightly older work on the left and then this one on the right is one that I completed not too long ago. And then whatever can fit on the walls, I try to put over here. I don't know if you could see, I'm using cardboard boxes from televisions <laughs> to sort of sort and stack some larger paintings. And I haven't figured out how to properly utilize this storage thing I, I just think I need to um, do some heavy thinking on that and then way up at the top is where I keep storage boxes for shipping okay well thank you for stopping by today I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time bye bye